please let's not forget if anybody knows this lady i am putting this first so that i don't forget saying it if anybody please um knows this lady that you're about to watch in this video and she is still alive please i am giving her an invitation and i know she has a second chance to live if she's still alive she can be well jesus can make her free jesus can set her free please if anybody knows her give out our contact to her so that we can get in touch with her and the rest jesus will take care of the lord doesn't foreclose or close the door permanently against any soul whosoever wills may come so if she's willing not just using whatever she is using you'll get to watch her in the video thank you and god bless you You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alright, this video, I have a video that I want to show you there too. Um, but I want to first and foremost lay a foundation and I will warn that viewers discretion is highly necessary um, You know, I could only uh, Bear to watch the video. It is so disgusting But then I'm afraid that I have to do it because uh, a lot is happening in the world today we see that um, if I should tell you that over 50% of the young girls I don't know. I don't know of uh, about every, any other place, but at least for what I, I can see in Nigeria, over fifty percent of the young ladies we have here are trading their private parts for business. Now they see it as what they can use to get to get money. They they. I mean that has become their supermarket. That has become their grocery store where anybody can just come in and buy. And unfortunately for them, so many we have been sounding this warnings anyway, but. Every other time it seems to be falling on deaf ears. So I would just want you to look at this video. But before that, you know, there is a prelude I will show you. And this is why it's like the world is shifting from, from morality, from decency to the things that are actually destroying, most especially the youth. Now, talking about the women, we look also at the at the young guys. It is also pathetic that even secondary school children have found um, a, a heaven in fraud, the one they call Yahoo today. So you look at it, it's like over 60% of young men, youths, are you know, finding passion and you know, calling it whatever it is in doing, um, you know, in scamming people and also engaging in. Um, um ritual in order to enrich themselves i'm not going to say so much but then before um i come back let me show you the video first and foremost you see <laughs> the percentage of those that truly are seeking for god and seeking for christ and those that are seeking the mundane things of this world even no matter how small and how patrick it is watch this first video then we'll look at the main the main video thank you so much and god bless you All right, here we are. Um, you look at the percentage of the persons that, without any pressure, no gun, you know, put to their head. It was just a free will. It was just a choice that they've got to make. You know, and what that illustrates to you is that um, the devil comes 
in a glittering form, you know, and he will actually sample to you what success looks like. Success looks to the devil and anybody that seeks the devil as an instant thing. You know, you don't have to labor for it. But at the end of the day, he wouldn't tell you that what he's offering to you is actually far less than what God has for you in store. Now, you can, you can compare the percentage of what those that went for money, you know, got rewarded for than that that went for Jesus. You cannot put them in comparison. And that is how it is. It is not to tell you that immediately you accept Jesus, you'll be rewarded immediately with money. No, it may take time. It takes time. And the ultimate reward is eternal life in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that you cannot compare with anything. Just as you know, you cannot compare 200 to 5,000. That is how you cannot compare the benefit of serving the Lord and living your life in eternity. It will take some form of, of hardship. It will take some form of some form of, of pain and rejection sometimes. Trials and temptations will come. But the Lord Jesus said, as many that will make it to the end, as many as shall endure to the end, those shall be saved. So I implore you, if you have found faith, if you have found Jesus, please hold him dearly. And if you are still dilly darling and you are still in the valley of decision, please make that decision fast and accept Christ so that you not become a victim. This young lady, this next video I'm about to show you, have you seen where my gods are coming out from? The woman's private parts. You may have seen, but listen to her story. Jesus. Love Cruz. Yes. Love Cruz. Yes. What is this? What happened to you? Jesus. I met this guy on Tinder. I went to see him yesterday. Mm -hmm. So he said he wants to he wants to sleep with me and give me money for mm. my for me to take care of myself in school. Mm. Jesus. So I agreed to it and he said he would not use condom. The guy dropped me oh I started feeling stomach pain. Jesus. Before he knew it, I started bleeding. Jesus. I started bleeding. Hey. Lord. And I've seen my period for this month. So I was just thinking maybe my period came back again. The next thing I saw was I was getting sensational movement. Mm. And then I opened it. Mm. So waiting be this way pour for your laps will be like oil. Not this olive oil oh. I've been using the olive oil to pray. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Ah. Sorry. <coughs> ah. <coughs> you are even coughing out my gut with blood at the same time. <coughs> Have you reached out to your parents? No. <sighs> right. Um. There you are. I don't have so much to say. The the lady herself said it all. It's not something, it's not acted, it's not scripted like some persons would, you know, term it. You know, we've been hearing this before. We've heard, we've seen pictures of maggots coming out from people's private parts after they have done this kind of business. And but this one now, you've seen it. In case you've not heard it before, you've not seen it before, in case you think that all those things are, uh, you know, the scripts from Nigerian Hollywood movie. Like so many of my friends from South Africa will say, stop watching too much of Nollywood. Now, that is what, um, you know, <laughs> this is what I want to show you. And this is what the world has become. Now, she went for the quick one. She went for the quick way to earn stipends, to earn money. And, you know, I think that their, their calculation is like, if I sleep with like 10 men in a week, you know, and these 10 men pay me 50,000 each. That's 500,000, that's half a million. Even if they pay me 20,000, that's 200,000, you know. Now, so that, this is how, and surprisingly, if somebody calls them prostitutes, they, they get angry. Now, but when you sleep from John to James to Kafo to Keke to Jide to Bankoli to Emmanuel to Ayomide to Alabanji, you, what are you, do you, are, you become a public toilet. And, and you are even worse than a prostitute because a prostitute has it as a business 
that she does and she is not ashamed of it. Now, recently, I, I, I found a video of, her, of the one that said, um, you know, she is busy. I think I will show you that video now. Let, let me not just say much. I will show you that, that video now. As I show you this other next video, it will give the rest of you out there sense. I am HIV positive and I'm ready to share it to as many as possible. I'm a hookup girl. I've been following this page for months now and I think it's time to drop this warning. Although I am doing this as payback, even though I have pity and conscience sometimes, I am a 26 year old hookup girl and I have been living with HIV for over two years now. I have decided to give it to as many as I could. Oh yes, I have slept with over 200 men unprotected after I discovered I have this virus. Even married men, I have traveled all over the country to meet men. I am on Tinder, Zuki, in message, wings, Bombi, Afro intro, Hinge, Bado, Olosho, Meet Me, and five other dating apps. I used to chat and meet men. I have infected Kaburu in Sokoto, Uche in Enugu, Esi in Benin, Tikash in Lagos, Shegu in Asaba, Tobere in Wari, Ayo in Ondo, Henry in Potakot, Musa in Zaria, Toby in Ibadan, Bombaye in Abeokuta, and many more. Those are the names in my head at the moment. Hmm. So this is where I'm driving at. There is this particular guy I met recently he has a girlfriend and he gives me everything i need he said he wants to date me and that i should stop hook up you are too pretty to be doing this he said i said okay i will stop he gave me two million naira last month just to stop hook up the first time we made out he used protection likewise the second and fifth time last week we were making out in a hotel in jabi and during the prote pro um, process he removed the protection and i asked why he said he was tired of using protection with me deep down i didn't allow him i was trying to stop him and i was even shouting but he had to force it in i cried bitterly because i had no intention of hurting my benefactor that way i wanted to tell him my status the moment he took me serious and gave me that money but it was too hard for me to say now this happened i am sorry this happened you i am sorry you have to come across this message anytime my advice to all men is please before you decide to be in a relationship with anyone go for tests and ladies please warn your men if possible take them to hospital for checkup if you have been noticing some flirty flat things behavior in them it is sad I had to hurt this guy this way. It wasn't my fault. It was my fault too because I should have told him the moment I noticed the kind of guy he was. I might end my life anytime. It hurts me so much. Anytime I remember it, please warn your man. Now this is what is happening in this world. And I am appealing to you guys. Please share this video. Somebody somewhere may need it. And you also may need it. No matter how pressured you are, don't use your most priceless assets that is the most priceless priceless asset in your body that is why god created it and kept it in a place where it is only you can give people access to it but it is only you can open it it is priceless that's why he hid it your eyes you know are very very efficient and your eyes very very necessary essential and important in your life but it's on the face everybody can see it everybody can see your mouth everybody can see your ears now but that one there is very very private god kept it you know private he decided that you are the only one that would decide who to allow to see it why not honor god in it? thank you so much and stay blessed i will see you in the next video till then from me to you shalom